We are now happy to be joined by Tyler Maines, now a reoccurring guest at a Wash Up Sports podcast. He is now hosting Tyler's Tailgate Talk presented by a Washed Up Sports podcast, part of the team. Tyler, thanks for being here to thanks talk me, about your new show, talk about some college football, excited to get into it. So, you know, we're we're super happy to, to have you on the team and uh, get you going with this new show. First episode was awesome. Pump for episode two. Hell yeah. So, you know, before we get into some college football, um, you know, we wanted our followers and subscribers, you know, to get to know you a little bit more and, and uh, get to know a little bit more about you, your show. So, you know, just introduce yourself a little bit. Tell the people how you kind of got started in podcasting, your previous work, and uh, kind of how you ended up making your way to our team. Yeah, so um, I'm a student here in Alabama, I'm majoring in uh, sports media. So um, podcasting is along the lines of something I'm trying to do when uh, when I go into uh, finding a career outside of college. So uh, last year, uh, me and some of my high school buddies started the Couch Potato Show, which some of you guys might be familiar with. Um, and we did that over over uh, during the pandemic just to give us something to do. Ended up going over a year with it. Um, and then uh, decided uh, kind of getting stale a little bit. So um, I went my own way and uh, guys were cool with it. And I decided to uh, hop on with you guys, uh, join the, uh, join the washed up sports crew, since I guess I can call myself one. Um, so uh, yeah, just pumped to pump to be a part of uh, something cool with you guys. Absolutely. So um, you have episode one under your belt. So, you know, how has it been so far and, and what are you looking forward to, you know, with the future of tailgate talk and um, what you're trying to do with it? Yeah. So episode one was obviously uh, awesome. Uh, th big thanks to Max for helping me out with it. Um, we entitled week zero, go check it out if you haven't yet. Um, That's right. But, Click. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, just talk college football um, once we get into basketball season, talk some college basketball um, because it's it, those are two sports that you can talk about year round. There's always headlines going all going around year round. Um, I mean, we'll we'll bring in uh, we'll bring in some college athletes for uh, as guests, uh, some college football athletes, college basketball athletes. Um, we'll answer questions that people have from uh, via the Instagram. Um, talk about rankings, college football playoff, whatever. Um, me and Max got into some headlines last week, uh, some pretty interesting ones uh, going into week zero. So, uh, yeah, just going to have fun with it, see where it goes. Not really sure where it's going to take me exactly, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll ride the wave. Absolutely. I like that. So, you know, I, I was wondering, so this is the first, I guess this might be the first show you're doing. Um, where it's just like you solo hosting, obviously you have Max helping with the production and everything like that. But I know like in high school, you did um, like the football announcing at the games and that was with someone else. And then you did um, the Alabama radio show, the the Tide uh, radio show I know you're doing. And that was with someone else, I believe, right? Yeah. So this is kind of the first thing you're doing on your own. What is that? How's that like transition been? Is it weird for you or do you enjoy it? Tell me a little bit about like the difference and the challenges that come with that. Yeah, it's 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 kind of weird because, um, yeah, in high school, I would do uh, football, basketball, baseball, uh, soccer games, whatever. Um, and my buddy Eric doing most of them with me, who actually who did the the couch potato show with me. Um, so we we've been doing those together since high school. Um, and then uh, Tide Radio that I'm doing here in Tuscaloosa. Um, it's kind of different from podcasting and announcing games because it's kind of along the lines of a podcast where I have to kind of like uh, create conversation with somebody I'm doing the show with but at the same time. Like I haven't known the guys that I'm working with at the radio station for too long. Um, a lot of them are like coming in and out because of uh, classes and stuff. So it's not always the same people that I'm doing the show with. So it's, it's kind of weird. It's, uh, but at the same time, like doing uh, tailgate talk is a whole other ballpark because like all these, all these other shows I'm, I'm able to like 
bounce things off of people and uh, like create like good conversation and debates and all that. Um, and no offense to no offense to Max at all, but I know Max isn't the biggest college football fan in the world. Um, None taken because it's you know, true. He's the most knowledgeable. So, um, but we try our best, and uh, sometimes sometimes I just get alone in my thoughts. So that some that sometimes creates the best conversation in just between me and myself. Right. It's definitely, I feel like it's definitely like something to adapt to because I've never podcasted um, myself either. So it's like, I don't even know how that would go. I, I feel like if I lose like my train of thought or something, because usually if I lose like a train of thought or something, you know, you have that other person to pick you up, yeah. but, um, but it definitely seems like it comes with challenges, but you know, previously on Couch Potato Show, you covered a wide variety of sports. You know, now you're just doing college sports, specifically football and basketball. How's that adjustment been? Do you enjoy that, or um, do you miss talking about some of those other sports? Um, it's it's kind of mixed right now because, like, yeah, there's a bunch of things going on going on in other sports that I'd love to talk about, but I know it has zero re- relevance whatsoever to the show. Um, like, obviously, I'm a huge Yankee fan uh yankees are one of the hottest teams in baseball right now i can yeah, talk yeah, about, yeah, yeah, um, i had to bring yeah, it up. Bro. <laughs> i had to bring it up but uh yeah i mean that's something i would love to talk about i could talk about it for days but obviously right. uh college football and talking about one subject also is it, it's easier in a way because you're able to prepare easier because there's not like as much stuff to talk about right You're, the stuff you can talk about is pretty limited so right you know, and i guess you could like you could deep dive deep into yeah. one topic instead of like just having to graze over headlines you know exactly and like at the same time like how many how many shows have you seen that cover every single sport like there, it's insane how many shows cover every single sport mm-hmm. but then on the other hand how many shows only cover college football and only cover college basketball probably less yeah so you kind of get a different audience at the same time so right right and as the the season as college football season approaches i mean that'll only do good things for the show you'd think because you know i think that's this is going to be like a big time for the show just to like be like it's a great time for it to be kicking off like the timing the timing worked out really well so I'm i'm very excited to um to keep tuning in and and you should too because uh you know that's going to be uh down below you can click and subscribe view um and and all of the above to tyler's tailgate show um tyler's tailgate talk excuse me triple t f triple t yeah that's the that's a great little name for it it's a great little name tongue twister sure yeah tongue twister triple t tyler's tailgate talk (laughs) he aced it with Tyler. <laughs> um, anyways, though. So, you know, talking a little bit about actual college football, you know, the the topic. Yeah. Um, so we got the first week coming up, you know, a few games that you're you're most looking forward to, you know, this opening weekend and why. So you got to start it off with the big uh, the big game, which would be uh, Clemson and Georgia. I was just about to ask about that one. Uh, yeah, Clemson and Georgia is probably the big one um, because of how good both those teams are and how good both we know both of those quarterbacks are and DJU and JT Daniels. Um, DJU, so that's what that's what they they go with now, just so they don't have to say the whole name. Nobody on earth can pronounce his last name correctly, so they just call him, <laughs> I would just call him DJU. I like that. I like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, the 5v3 matchup, the playoff implications that that game has is pretty large, um, especially this early in the season. We haven't really seen that lately. I like that, you know? Yeah. So that's the game you have to Who watch. are you taking in that? I told Max I'm going Georgia. Okay. Yeah. Wow. The upset. Wow. Um, I guess you can call it an upset. I'd um, call it an upset. Yeah. Um. I guess another game to watch would be um, Alabama Miami, just because it's one v fourteen and a uh, ranked matchup. Um, right. I don't, as, it's, as a, I don't think it's going to be a good game. Okay. But I that mean, that's fair. I mean, it's going to be you, one of the better games. So you, uh, I assume, with your uh, as an Alabama fan, student, 
you uh, definitely think they're going to repeat this year, huh? Yeah. Okay. It wasn't even no, no hesitation there. So <laughs> I wanted to ask you about Penn state, Wisconsin this week. Um, that was the one I was going to leave out. Okay. So I was, I was, I'm excited for that. I, I, I don't know who I think is going to win that game. Um, I honestly think I would go with Wisconsin. Yeah. I really like Wisconsin too. I, yeah. I don't think, I think Penn state's also is going to be one of those teams again, where it's all the hype and then they lose five games. I'm definitely with you there. I think, yeah. um, as I'm sure there's uh, the every, Penn state travels well. So I feel like the, there's definitely people who, who are listening, who, you know, definitely support Penn state as much yeah. as, uh, we're sorry to tell you, but, um, I, I think, uh, it's kind of the same boat as last year a little bit. Yeah. Um, but you know, I have one uh, game. I have one game. Okay. That probably, the, probably the game that I'm most excited for outside of Georgia and Clemson and that no one's really talking about is Virginia Tech and North Carolina. That is a good game. Now, like Virginia Tech has kind of been that upset team where they'll just upset random teams here and there. They're not even like – that good um north carolina ranked number 10 if they go undefeated they could make the playoff with sam howell but they're also playing in virginia which i don't know if you've seen any of those videos of uh virginia tech their home stadium that place is electric hokey nation stand up i mean have you ever seen that that entrance with the uh, enter sandman I, I yeah i mean that is like imagine going to play in that stadium yeah no, the way it, team. sneaky place to play because it doesn't really get talked about yeah that's you a know? game that i would love to watch and just love to see an upset from virginia tech i i think that's a good g- game to to mention because i wasn't even thinking about that if, if i'm being honest with you but yeah no one's I talking think, about it but i think that could be a really good game um you know last year we saw some really good football from a team that you know wasn't really expected to be you know anything crazy in coastal carolina um you know are is coastal legit or or were they kind of a one-year wonder in your opinion um i think they're legit i don't know if they're like as legit i don't think i don't know if they're new year six legit like they were last year Mm -hmm. um i think grayson mccall their quarterback is i think he's a redshirt sophomore um he's definitely an nfl prospect which for Coastal Carolina is pretty damn good. Yeah. Um, their wide receiver, Javion Hyla, I think is how you pronounce his last name. And then um, good friend of the old Couch Potato Show, Isaiah Likely. Uh, really big, big names on that, uh, on that offense that are going to be playing on Sundays eventually. Um, and then they have, they have a defensive tackle. I forgot his name. But he reminds me of Indomitian Sue. Wow. So, big comparison. That team and the defense just plays so well together. They don't really have mm-hmm. like one guy that stands out. They just all play so well together. Yeah. So I think that team's going to be really good. I don't know if there's going to be New Year's Six Bulls in their future, but um, I think they'll definitely hold their ranking throughout the year. Gotcha. They're on uh, on my Buffalo Bulls schedule this year. So um, I had That'll to be ask, a good uh, game. Yeah, that will be a good game. I'm excited for Buffalo this year. I think, uh, think uh, a good season incoming from them. Um, You know, so we saw, I saw earlier today on the uh, Tyler's tailgate talk Instagram, someone asked you a little bit about Rutgers and, you know, the Greg Schiano turnaround in your thoughts. Could you maybe get into that a little bit? You know, their recruiting has been unbelievable, you know, over, you know, going into the next few classes coming up and, you know, that's the Schiano effect for you. Um, Could you get into that a little bit? Yeah. I mean, the, uh, the, the guys that Greg Schiano has been able to bring in, um, is pretty much unlike you've any unlike anything that's been seen at Rutgers for a long time. Uh, Cause let's be honest, Rutgers has been terrible lately um, up until these last one or two years. Uh, but like originally it was kind of like if you played high school football in the state of New Jersey and then didn't get recruited by like a top division one school, and you wanted to play college football in division one, you would go to Rutgers. Like mm-hmm. that would be the thing. Um, <clears throat> Big 10, nevertheless. Yeah, exactly. But now Rutgers is turning into one of those schools that is getting top recruits and they're getting, they're up there in the recruiting rankings, which is huge. 
um, especially as a Big Ten school, when, especially in this environment, when the conferences are kind of folding and going to shit. But um, I think Rutgers, give them two or three years where they can get, like, maybe a good bowl game under their belt, a bowl win, uh, get put that in the resume for uh, recruiting. I think their recruiting classes this year and next year is going to be huge in the next five years. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a, I don't know if a Big Ten title, but maybe a Big Ten championship game appearance. Wow. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Wow, I like that. I think – you know, I think uh, there are, you know, some big things, some big things coming there. And it, it's going to be interesting to see. Um, One big thing with them is like getting New Jersey, you know, has great high school football recruiting and it's just like recruits and like talent. And, and one thing that they were never really able to do as of late is get those people to stay home and go to Rutgers. And I think that's something that they're going to try to see more of, which is uh, really exactly. important because, you know, you had a lot of, um, you know, a lot of New Jersey guys going Penn State, going mm-hmm. Michigan and, and other places like that. So. So, um that's interesting to me you know yeah and shiano's shiano's a player's coach like yeah 100%. how is like how, like who wouldn't want to play for him right so i there's no give a few years from now right there's no, then, there's no reason why anybody would not want to go to rutgers if you're playing out of the state of new jersey which is one of the best high school uh football states Right. And, and there's something to be said for, you know, going to your home school and, you know, taking that trying to, you know, overthrow one of the big dogs and and uh, yeah. building something special over your college career. I think that like being a part of like a build is something that a lot of guys seek and other guys just seek to go to already established programs and just, you know, and, and win. But um, but, you know, I, I respect a, a player who who, you know, is going to a school to try to, you know, build something great. Yeah, I mean, players that go into schools who are rebuilding um, and try and build up a, a foundation for a program or a dynasty, um, those are the players that get remembered at those schools for decades. I mean, I know here it's it's hard to believe that Alabama was ever rebuilding, but they were terrible in the early 2000s. Um, and then first year that... Uh, Nick Saban came in to coach. Obviously, we didn't know he was going to be the greatest coach of all time, but he came in, brought in a recruit uh, by the name of uh, Julio Jones, and they were terrible the year before. And the year after that, uh, they got Eddie Lacy, Dante Hightower. Two years later, they're playing for a national championship. So, and those are guys that are just synonymous with this school now. Um, more than the guys who came in during the dynasty. So it's something you definitely want to be a part of if uh, if you're a high school recruit, just going to a place where you know a few years from now, I could be as part of something special. Definitely, 100%. You know, you know this has been a, a, an awesome interview. I want to, you know, leave with one thing. Um, I know it's early and, and hard to predict, but, you know, you got to give me a final four right now. You got to give me your playoff. Um, you had to preseason, you know, Tyler's uh, Tyler's playoff teams. Let's hear that. Um, so I'm not sure if I gave Max the same top four. I remember I gave it top four on the show. Um, Max, correct me if this is different, but in no particular order, um, I'm going to go Alabama. Um, I'm going to go Clemson, Georgia. And then um, Oklahoma, I believe, was my number four. Ooh, Spencer Rattler. Yeah, yeah. that's what you said. Perfect. Spencer, yeah. that's what you Spencer said. Rattler. I actually, you know, that's someone that I actually um, would have liked to talk a little bit more about. I think he's in for a big year. Oh, yeah. Well, Evan, you'll have to listen to the next episode of Tyler's Tailgate Talk. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Definitely talk about that. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Ty, it's uh, this has been great. And everybody, make sure you go check out Tyler's Tailgate Talk presented by a washed up sports podcast produced by the one, the only, the magnificent Max Lindley um, and hosted by your uh, Tyler Mains we got over here. Um, thanks, Tyler, for being here. And uh, this was awesome. Thanks, boys. Appreciate it. Till next time. Yes, sir. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of our channel and subscribe. 
Make sure to follow our Instagram and maybe consider subscribing on Patreon for our bonus content. You can only find it there. I promise it will be well worth it. Thanks.